One is that the increase this year is less than the that the ten year average of three point three percent. Secondly, it's nearly one percent less than the cap that was placed by the legislature and the governor that we would if we hit that cap, over that cap, that we would have a reduction in state aid. Three, that it allows for equitable increases for the, our, our critical lectures. Four, that it, uh, that it maintains ex academic excellence. And five, that not passing it would make it more difficult to operate this university and would probably increase our bonding costs in the future. So with those in mind, um, I wish it was lower, but I understand the reasons for it being where it is this year, and for that reason, I, I just wanted to let people know I'm going to continue to fight for lower in-state tuition increases in the future, but I believe this year that, that uh, voting for it is the responsible thing to do. I'm in support of the budget, and I would like to say that you know, I believe our budget is truly a reflection of our values and our, prior, and our priority. I believe we should value most the academic mission and I think this budget does that, even though it does have some imperfections. Uh, first, the GOBU guarantee, which we just started. I think we should live up to the commitment, and this budget does that by providing free tuition for families in Michigan making $65,000 or less. And along with that, to give financial aid to families making up to $110,000 a year is really amazing and kudos to the administration for being able to crunch the numbers to come up with that kind of support. This offsets the in-state tuition increase of $436 a year. I appreciate mitigating that increase, even though, like Regent Weiser, I would love to see lower tuition increases over the years, but if the money is well spent, then again, as long as we're valuing the correct things, then I support the budget. Also, I appreciate the fiscal restraint and cost containment that is included in the budget and has been for the six years that I've been a regent, understanding that we have a responsibility to taxpayers, of which I'm one. And then lastly, I believe strongly in the competitive fair salaries and wages. If we're going to remain a permanent institution, then we need to remain competitive in that regard, especially for those who teach, for those who do research, and for those who support the academic mission. I believe this budget does that, even with its imperfections, which we will continue to discuss over the year, and I appreciate the partnership that we have at the table. Thank you. Thank you. I've said this before, um, and, I, and I, I feel this is the, the real opportunity um, to make this statement. In the past 10 years, we've raised tuition, we've raised in-state tuition over 30% for freshmen and sophomores an average of 3.3% a year, and more for juniors and seniors. The Go Blue Guarantee, as wonderful as it is, is an expensive proposition. And when we took it on, we recognized that. But that just means we have to tighten the belt in other areas. We can't be all things to all people all the time. We need to not just redistribute savings, but sometimes we need not to spend our savings. We also need to not just raise tuition in line with inflation or the annual growth rate of Michigan family income. We need to consider um, our discretionary funds, our reserves, and other programs where we spend money. For this reason, I'm not supporting the budget, but, I, but there, I'm not supporting the budget because of the tuition increases. There are aspects of the budget, though, such as the hospital, the athletic department, the Clinton Durban campuses where I, I would like to, there's somebody raising signs up every time I look up. I'm not sure what to say. Uh, um, maybe I should see it right up. That I would like to support, but we're voting for the entire budget, and I want to be clear on my concern in regards to tuition increases. Thank you. I don't think that's the, the right way to look at it, as Regent Newman has explained. I mean, we all have things that we like about the budget and things we don't like. And if I were voting only on a tuition increase, I think, especially for the Ann Arbor campus, I think I'd be a no. For many of the reasons cited by Regent Newman, um, I think that there are significant opportunities that we could explore to reduce our costs and get that tuition rate down further. But the budget process is a matter of compromise. We work on this for you know, just it doesn't happen overnight. This happens over a period of time where we give input. And at the end of the day, the university, as Regent Weiser noted, must have a budget. Okay, 
Okay, so I count seven one, the uh, consolidated budget passes and we now return to the regular agenda.